Hello everyone, and welcome to part 144 of Laravel 10 series in which we are getting the e-commerce website. So finally, we are going to work on the Laravel checkout process and in this video, we will start working on the multiple delivery addresses and we are going to create table with migration and we'll add one delivery address with CDAP. Okay, so the checkout process will include uh, these features, uh, multiple delivery addresses in which the user can come and able to add the multiple delivery addresses and uh, we are going to review the card items whatever the items the user added to his card and finally we will uh, add the payment methods like uh, we are going to first of all add COD cash on delivery and then PayPal and then other payment methods so that the user can come and make payment to get uh, to place his order to get its order delivered at his Oh, okay so so this is the process checkout process that we are going to work with okay so first thing is we are going to work with multiple delivery addresses okay so uh, it will take few videos for this one and then we will come to the review card items that we are going to show in the checkout page and after that we will finally I'm going to integrate the payment method starting with the cash on delivery uh, so uh, first thing is to unbend the checkout page and here I'm going to going back to the website first of all I'm going to log in and uh, after that I will play uh, I will add one product okay so I'm going to log in with one of the account Amit 100 at the rate of the .com. Okay, so just the thing is that I want to tell you that uh, the checkout page will come here uh, when I will click on proceed to checkout, then the checkout uh, page will come. Okay, so for that, uh, for the multiple delivery addresses, I'm going to create the table, uh, delivery addresses table in which we are going to store the multiple delivery addresses of the user. Okay, so I'm going to create this table. I'm going to run the migration command uh, so that I can create the table okay so I'm going to run the migration command I will go to the my product folder XAMPP ST docs and this is where is my product folder project here it is okay project 10 right click services new terminate folder PHP artisan make migration so I'm going to name the delivery addresses table. So I'm going to create here, create underscore delivery addresses table. Okay, delivery addresses table. Okay, so see the migration file uh, for creating the table has been created. I'm going to open this migration file, create. Well, at create delivery addresses table. Okay, so here I'm going to add here uh, user ID name and all the columns that we are required. Okay, so first of all, the user ID by which we are going to identify that uh, this uh, address belongs to which user. Dear user ID, and after that, we are going to add here the name of the user, complete details of the user. Okay. Uh, complete address of the user name and after that address city state country okay i'm going to do it like this city uh, name address first address after that uh, city state country pin code mobile and finally status any interior here status okay interior string uh, city state country pin code mobile status and uh, make sure name address city state country pin code yeah all the columns uh, are here okay so now 
uh, I'm going to create uh, uh, this table with the PHP artisan by running the PHP artisan migrate command. PHP artisan migrate. So uh, this uh, table has been created. I'm going to check here. Project 10. You'll see delivery addresses table has been created. Okay. You can see the table has been created with all the required columns. So now I'm going to uh, create the model uh, for the delivery address uh, table as well. Okay, so I'm going to create the model now. PHP artisan make model delivery address. Okay, so this is the model that I have created now. Okay, so now uh, I will uh, insert one record in this uh, delivery address table, delivery addresses table. So for that, I'm going to uh, create the seeder, PHP addition make seeder. Here, the name delivery address table seeder, delivery address table seeder. Okay, so the file I'm going to open here, delivery address table seeder. Fine, and here I'm going to first include the model that we have created earlier delivery address model use app uh, models delivery address models delivery address and we are going to insert here record delivery address record delivery record delivery address records delivery address records okay so here we are going to add okay so here we are going to add the columns id 1 and user id i am going to take the user id as 1 as well the one name i will give my name here okay so address any address see and after that uh, see i'm going to add here city i'm going to add here the city new delhi and We'll add this state as daily country. I'm going to add as India. Pin code. We are going to add here like daily pin code. Whatever it is. Okay. And finally mobile. I'm going to add like uh, uh, 9812345678 finally status I'm going to add as 1 okay we can also add the multiple addresses with this header I will give the comma here and here ID is 2 user ID 1 and maybe uh, I will give someone as name like uh, I am going to give here the John Singh okay and here i will add some other address like mall road okay here i will add some other city like shimla here i will add here the himachal pradesh okay whatever himachal pradesh okay the country is india i don't know the pin code but i will add some pin code like uh, any pin code i am going to add and here the mobile number and status is one okay finally uh, we are going to uh, add the insert query here is delivery address insert and that is delivery address records okay and we can uh, make here like small letter in caps like uh, this is the naming conventions the variable name must start with lowercase and the if there are two names here then 
the next names are uh, in bigger letters okay so now we are going to run the db uh, db artisan uh, that uh, db php artisan db seed command okay so that command we are going to run php artisan db seed so to create to add uh, the records but here seems to be uh, one issue duplicate entry one uh for the insert into coupons okay there is some other issue it is uh, uh it is trying to okay we have forgot one step here uh i'm going to open that uh, database seeder file database seeder in which uh, we are required to hide this one because it is it it, it is trying to create the already created uh rows already created data okay we have already created data for coupon table seeder now we are going to create data for delivery address table seeder okay delivery address table seeder okay so now so once again i'm going to run here php artisan db seed and this time it's done and you can see it has been done and we're going to see both the records must have been added yes with the name of gupta and john singh okay so the person is having two addresses and one is Amit Gupta and one is John Singh, one is own address maybe and one the someone address where he wants to ship that order. Okay, so we are able to add two addresses in the delivery addresses table. So in the next video, we are going to abandon the checkout page. Okay, so we have the checkout page in our template that we have downloaded in the earlier part of the series and if you have not downloaded the template once again i want to tell you that there are few steps that you are required to take to download the template okay sidemakers e-commerce e html template not only template you are going to get uh, the multi-vendor html template and also you are going to get the filter js and other scripts as well okay uh, these are just few steps that you are required to take uh, give five star rating at uh, uh, at google give five star rating review uh, uh after installing the side makers app uh, whether you have the iphone or android okay you can install that app and can give the rating and review and you just require to like the facebook page and join the facebook group and finally like and comment on this laravel 10 video okay just i think that it will not take more than five minutes of your time and after that you are going to get the credentials to download uh, these HTML templates and also many other scripts that will help you to create the e-commerce website okay so these steps also given uh, in the video descriptions or you can comment me in under any of the video I'm surely going to give you these steps so that you can open the uh, links and can uh, do those steps okay so uh, if you have any con uh, confusion you can surely contact me in next video we are going to embed that checkout page uh, and searching for that checkout page that this is the template in which we have done the checkout page i'm going to show you that this is the checkout page that we are going to embed for our laravel 10 series okay so this is the checkout page delivery addresses will come here order summary like i have shown you okay so it will come here so i can even update like order summary okay review card items uh, here order summaries looks better order summary okay order summary see multiple delivery addresses order summary see here multiple delivery addresses order summary okay in multiple delivery addresses the user can able to add edit as well as the delete delivery address okay and after that see this one is not required being address okay after that the uh, here we are going to show the grand total and all other uh, like subtotal uh, uh, taxes is not there right now shipping charges we are going to uh, uh, uh add that module okay so taxes also we can give if uh, gst and other taxes okay so that also we can give and discount and grand total and then the payment method will come okay so one by one we are going to do everything so stay tuned for further videos that's all for now have a nice time goodbye